we got a delivery. It feels like it just like perks up the girl. You feel really silky, but I absolutely adore. Welcome to my kitchen. I want to show you how simple and easy it is to make this recipe. Honor Active, and I haven't obviously opened it. I haven't ordered off Honor Active in such a long time, but it's honestly one of my favorite gym wear brands at the moment. I have the effortless leggings and oh my god like they're honestly just feel like butter so I decided to just like make a big ass order and just stock up on like proper quality clothes because that was one of my 2024 resolutions is to stop buying as much and buy good quality clothes that I can just rewear and just be more environmental friendly than try and buy a lot of clothes because to be honest, I just don't need as much, but gym gear is something that I am just willing to invest money in because I live in gym gear and I pretty much like train six times a week. So, okay, maybe let's just like unpack all of them one by one and then we're gonna try them on. Timeless square neck sports bra. The back. This is effortless strappy bralette, 70% cocoa. Ooh, she cute. And this is the back. Timeless strappy bralette. So another piece of the timeless collection. That's how she is looking at the back. Oh, I think I got matching shorts actually to that bralette. Yeah, timeless high-waisted shorts. Coral. Was that a coral? Coral, yeah. That's the shorts. That's the shorts. I managed to get one piece of the effortless seamless. No, wait, I have the effortless seamless sports bra as well, yeah. They didn't have any leggings, which are obviously my fave, but I was like, I'm gonna try out the shorts a pair of leggings which probably is the most beneficial piece of active wear that I need but I only got one piece and I got timeless high-waisted leggings in cool brown that's how they're looking and this is the back of them so the first set we have actually both the sports bra and the leggings from the timeless collection the timeless collection feels like butter Honestly, there's actually like good support here. I mean, like I don't have much to support, but it feels like it just like perks up the girlies, which I love. So this is the square sports bra and I'm wearing size medium and all of the clothes, by the way. So it's super easy to remember, but basically that's the sports bra and that is the back of it. The timeless leggings. They're a lot more smoother and softer. They like feel really silky, but not funny silky. They're like not sliding down me. They're still really firm. I would say I do prefer the effortless feel. So I'm not too sure how they're going to operate on like training legs, you know, and doing like a lot of maybe squatting movements. So I'm feeling maybe like upper body days or even like everyday wear, not even the gym, because I am loving this color. So I do love them, they feel amazing. And although they're like feel as if you're wearing a slick glove and like a buttery glove, they're not see through whatsoever. And I'm wearing quite dark underwear anyway because I was like oh, I can be air changing and you can't even see it so it's a plus for me and again these are size medium third piece is the effortless strappy sports bra in 70% cocoa or cacao however you want to call it again size medium this is a knitted um, logo so it's great because it's not gonna like rub off after a few washes it has good support too, well I would say medium again. This is how the back of it is. So as you can see, the straps are actually adjustable, which I also find great just in case you just want to like lift them up a little bit and make sure that the bra or the bralette doesn't fall down. So yeah, that's the back of the, and that's the front. And actually goes quite well with the timeless leggings as well. I just like the contrast of the 
dark and light browns. Okay guys, I absolutely adore, I cannot speak French, but I adore, I adore this timeless set. I can say that the timeless sports bras are a win for me. Effortless leggings, but timeless sports bra and timeless shorts. Wow. Wow. It feels like I'm wearing nothing <laughs> in a good way. Like I just feel like it can be so like flexible and move around so freely without, you know, trying to like take a wedgie out of my ass crack. Even running, you know, actually even running. But yeah, they definitely, the sports bra definitely doesn't have as much support as the square neck timeless or the strapply effortless if you want to have a look at the back the straps are adjustable and i'm pretty sure that you can like unhook them here and tie them around your neck to make it halter neck which again i absolutely love because halter neck sports bras are a bit of me but i'll try to move back is this a bit dark and that's how we are looking at the back, quad proof. I am wearing like dark underwear underneath them. This set is definitely a win for me and I shall definitely be ordering in more colors. All right, so the last fit that we have, so obviously I have the same sports bra as I first showed you. It's the square timeless one, but I just wanted to put it on to match it with the effortless shorts that I've got because I feel like, you know, you can mix and match. This is what I absolutely love. And when I was like choosing the colors, I was thinking of putting together a few different outfits. They look different, same but different, you know? So these are the effortless shorts. I love them also. So the material is definitely thicker. They're more compact, but I don't know. I feel like I equally love the effortless and timeless when it comes to shorts. When it comes to leggings, I would definitely prioritize the effortless over timeless. I'm just in love with all the pieces. It just makes me feel good. And I don't care what anyone says when I put some effort into myself and I feel good, I personally feel like I look good, I'm gonna show up better in the gym and I'm gonna train fucking harder. So it's an investment in myself. They have like a little scrunchie here and yeah. That's essentially my mini Honor Active haul. Let me know in the comments below which piece is your favorite. And also let me know if you enjoyed these kind of style of vlogs and would like to see me do more try on hauls. Welcome to my kitchen. Today I'm going to be making salmon poke bowls and I'm bringing you with me. I want to show you how simple and easy it is to make this recipe. It's high in protein, nutrient dense, it's going to keep you full for hours and you can also meal prep it so that you can save time and money. I've only got 20 minutes before my family comes home and I'm cooking for them today so let's get to it. The first thing that I'm going to do is preheat the oven to 180 degrees celsius. While I'm waiting for the oven to preheat I am going to just wrap up my salmon fillet. Pop the salmon into the preheated oven for 12 to 15 minutes. Should be all good. Wrapped in tin foil. While I'm waiting for the salmon to cook, I'm gonna prepare my rice. So you can use sushi rice or else I'm using risotto rice. So either or is fine. Sushi would be preferable, but it's not as easily accessible in the supermarkets as risotto. And, and the reason why I'm using risotto or sushi rice for the poke bowls is that it gives that like sticky rice consistency as opposed to using basmati or regular white or brown rice. For every cup of rice, I'm using a cup and a half of water. Because I am trying to do this as quick as possible, we're going multitasking. So the salmon is in the oven, the rice is cooking. It's going to take about 12 or so minutes for the rice to cook as well. So both of them are going to be ready at the same time. So in those 10 minutes, I am going to prepare all my toppings. I'm going to be using cucumber, shredded carrots, avocado, relish, and then I'm also going to top it with some ginger and sesame seeds and a little secret sauce.
Now that the rice is ready, we're going to be adding a secret ingredient to make it taste like the rice that you get from sushis, and that is sugar and apple cider vinegar. I know it tastes like such a weird combination, but believe me, trust the process because it's freaking amazing. So I want two tablespoons of sugar, I'm using brown sugar here, and two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar. I've already added salt. If you haven't added salt to it, add a little bit, but go easy because we're gonna be using soy sauce as well, and that is quite salty. 